Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. So I wanted to do a follow-up on the customer service email saying, yeah, if uh, your friend's zeroed, you can't transport them resources. There's been some replies from customer service. A lot of players have wrote customer service and also what I would say is some uh, definitive proof that this is a real mail. It's not fraud. So uh, here it is. Anyone who missed the video earlier today, yesterday, uh, Ebony basically says, yeah, sending resources to Alliance members who have been zeroed is not allowed. Thank you for your understanding. A lot of people said, ah, Ebony Sir CS, they don't use the term zeroed, so this looks fake. Apparently, from what more people have gathered and more replies from customer service, it seems like customer service is using the word zeroed, but they're using it in the terms of if Ebony zeroes your account. So if you were deemed cheating and Ebony took away your power or inventory or some troops and then you send resources to them, it seems like that's what they're saying is illegal. Um, quite a few large players, like very large, a couple of VIP 25s wrote me, said uh, they've been pushing Ebony for to give them an actual number. What is the maximum amount of resources need needed to send before you reach a threshold where you get punished? And so far, no replies. So here is a reply from Chloe, Chloe J from Ebony after this. So this is on a Reddit thread. Uh, and some people have sent it to me. And then I got shown the Reddit thread. So I went to it and saw, and there's also a video, which I'm gonna show you. Hello, Liege, thanks for the contact and customer service. Sorry to make you confused. Script behavior and resource trading behavior are prohibited in this game. And excess, excessive sending of resource to other players is suspected of resource trading but players are not prohibited from sending appropriate resources to Alliance members. Thank you. So people have been pressing them and saying, well, what's an appropriate amount? At the top where it says script behavior and resource trading behavior, script behavior, I think that kind of just means like, uh, I guess like what it says, like a script, like something you're just doing over and over and it's suspicious, I would think would be the term, but I don't uh, anticipate Ebony ever giving a number that you're allowed to. Some people have shown the maximum daily resource, daily transport amounts in the embassy. That should be the maximum you're allowed to send, right? Like we do science for it. Plus, honestly, for Ebony, if people are sending resources, transporting, and they're paying taxes, who cares? That's Ebony taking a rake, taking 15% off of everything they're sending. But again, it does seem like Ebony's referring to accounts that are zeroed by Ebony, not zeroed by the big bad on your server. So now I'm gonna show you a video that basically shows this. It'll show the guy going in his game into the customer support tickets and opening this. So. To me, it looks like this. these are legit conversations going on. So this is the other guy's phone. I recorded it. He posted it on Reddit. So here's all his tickets. Man, there you see it. I don't see how this could be, you know, hey, it'd be a lot of effort, really elaborate Photoshop if someone was to do this. So there you have it. Seems like it's real. Seems like we misunderstood what Ebony was saying because Ebony is terrible translation. But the fear is still out there. Are people allowed to attack their alts? Family members? Can people trade resources? Like I know people, early game, a lot of people or smaller players will take turns. So like a group of five and they'll say like, hey, uh, this week you're doing a building and we're all sending you resources to get you there. And then next week, someone else does it. And people play like that with extreme teamwork. So is that suspicious? I don't know. Like, it just sucks that Ebony does take the fun out of it. I get it. Credit card fraud come down on people hard. Take their accounts. Don't take their items. Take their accounts. Kick them out of the game. 
That's what Ebony needs to do. Uh, all this, you know, wondering if you cheated a little bit and you're going to wake up and Ebony is going to take half your stuff, stuff that what you didn't even cheat to take through a glitch. That's where it's wrong. Like people have lost like hundreds of thousands of souls and rune stones. And in the glitch, which is Ebony's fault, they gained maybe just like 10,000 or something. So anyways, uh, I know there's a group of people out there who don't feel so ba sorry for any cheaters. Uh, I just want uh, Ebony, I, I would have been happy if they just rolled them back to where they were before they did the glitch. The, and uh, that's it. You don't have to excessively punish, but uh, you don't want to leave your customer base in fear. But hey, I bet Ebony has a big plan for this. A cultural sub coming up this weekend. That'll get people spending again. Everyone wants that extra buff on top of their gold Japan. So anyways, uh, look forward to be a really good one. I'm anticipating this will be a really, really good historical city up for sale. Because uh, the cake sucked and the event itself is lackluster. It's really the seventh time they've rolled it out, the Kong thing, and people are just done with it. And anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment.